So here we are asked if a force has a magnitude of 98 and is directed 30 degrees south of east, what are its components? So let's recall that from when we were considering a, a vector on the unit circle, we obtained the equation for some vector v as the magnitude of vector v multiplied by cosine of theta times unit vector i plus the magnitude of vector v times sine of theta times unit vector j. We had said that the horizontal force, which we're going to label here as f sub x, is the coefficient of that unit vector i, so the magnitude of vector v times cosine of theta. And we have that the vertical force here, f sub y, is the coefficient of our unit vector j. So that's the magnitude of vector v multiplied oops, by sine of theta. So this is what we're going to need to help us solve here. So let's think about what we're given in this question. We have that the force has a magnitude of 98. So we can say that the magnitude of this vector v here is 98. And we also have that this force is being directed 30 degrees south of east. So if we think about a, a unit circle here sitting on the plane, this lumpy circle sitting on the plane here, we know that this force is being directed 30 degrees south of east. So if this is our positive x-axis, we want to go 30 degrees south of east. So this is 30 degrees here. We know we want to work in radians, so that's pi by 6. Right, so the angle we're considering, though, must come from the positive x-axis moving in a counterclockwise direction. So this theta here, we can think of this as theta being equal to 2 pi minus pi by 6, which is going to give us 11 pi by 6. So we've now got our magnitude and we have our angle here is 11 pi by 6. And we are ready now to find the components of the force. So we have our horizontal force. Again, it is capital F sub x of the magnitude of v times cosine of theta. So plugging in what we know, we have capital F sub x is equal to 98 multiplied by cosine of 11 pi by 6. So this simplifies to 98 multiplied by the square root of 3 over 2. And we know that 2 goes into 98 49 times, leaving us with a beautiful final answer of 49 times the square root of 3. Now we want to go ahead and find our vertical force, which again we recall is capital F sub y being equal to the magnitude of vector v times sine of theta. So the horizontal force here is going to be again the magnitude is 98 multiplied by sine of 11 pi over 6. We want to be careful here, we want to recall that we are this angle is existing in quadrant 4. So sine of 11 pi by 6 is going to simplify to minus 1 half. And then again, we know that 2 goes into 98 49 times. We just don't want to forget our negative 149. So our vertical force here is minus 49.